Howdy, howdy, folks. You're watching Clap Car Revival, and today we're dipping our toes in something just a little bit different. Got me a little 99 Kawasaki Vulcan 800. I picked it up as a little project. It runs, but needs uh, needs carburetor rebuilt and a couple of little other little knickknack things. Uh, today, all I'm doing is cleaning it up, just seeing how well this polishes up. It's been collecting dust for four or five years, looking grimy. So uh, I've, I'm ordering the parts that I need for it and doing a little research because I've never fooled with a bike before. Uh, but today we're just going to find out how clean we can get this thing and just get a vision of what we got going on. So I'll give you a quick little walk around first before we dig into it. It's pretty much all there. We've got a turn signal, a mirror, and the fender. That's what it is. It was laid down several years ago, low speed. Uh, this was the guy's starter bike and then he just ended up going to get a different bike actually has several sitting at his house now but hasn't been through much just needs a couple little repairs this thing's gonna be pretty sweet so we're just gonna go over this thing just clean it with some straight water just get all the grime off of it I'm not gonna try to do too much to this bike Really, all I'm hoping to be able to do with it is get it right, get it pretty, not particularly in that order, and then be able to sell it. Most likely when it warms up, but I tried to pick something that you know, I'm going to be less inclined to keep. I have most of the stuff that I want to keep, and I need something to pay for the stuff that I want to do. I ideally will sell this to pay for the disc brake conversion parts on the Galaxy. That's my hope there. After that, you know, we move on to something else and start working at parts for the supercharger. I want to disc brake first and then possibly over the winter rebuild the 352 that's in it or even buy a 390 to rebuild over the winter and then hopefully come next year I'll have the Galaxy disc brake converted supercharged and ready for some amateur drag action Based off what I can see and what the fella has told me, it looks like all I'm really going to have to replace parts wise is the turn signal here, turn signal up there that's dangling off, and then that front fender that's broken. So not a whole lot of money in parts, just a little bit of labor. Probably I'm expecting, you know, 150, 200 bucks. I was expecting to have to repaint it whenever he had told me that it had been laid down in its past. Uh, I fully expected some dent action, some scrapage or something to that effect, but there isn't any, you know. I feel like this this is gonna polish up well enough that we can get away with not painting it. Just cause that's, that's more time, that's more money. However, I might do that anyway, just cause I like painting stuff and bikes are way easier than cars. I've only got to do one type of bike like this. So it would be pretty cool to get to do it again. But the objective here is also to make dollars for something else. So the less I have in it, the better. But you never know. I get a wild hair and just feel like doing something and that's what ended up happening. We work our way up the bike. I'm getting really excited to see how this all comes out. This probably right here is the worst pitting I've seen. That looks like it's going to shine up excellently. We'll see what it does for us. Then we'll start getting the shiny stuff shiny.
toothbrush is definitely the move here. This is cleaning up wonderfully. This water's starting to look pretty brown. About time to freshen this up. But this, this is making the whole thing look dang near finished. We are about through it on this thing. After I finish up this side of it, I'm just going to cut the camera until I'm all the way done and then we'll do a total walk around around the bike, but I want to listen to some of that music YouTube will flag me for, so y'all got to go for a little bit, but we'll do the big parts together. And you can see how it all shakes out. Hopefully, in the next week or two, we'll have it back up and running. Just put a battery, a carb rebuild kit to it, and that'll be it for a while. So this is going to tie it all together right here. It's going to knock all the dust off. Just real loose, real ugly. And shine all this little surface rust off. That's going to really tie this whole thing together. Should probably start from up here though, because I'm going to drip water down. That just makes too much sense. Alright, let's see what we can take off of this. This never ceases to amaze me. Because that's something you can spot from the road. Now, can't even tell it was ever there. That is phenomenal. This is going to be the part I've been most excited for. Just cleaning off this leather seat. Throwing this on, this is going to really help pull the whole thing together. There's some spots in it don't know how well they're going to clean up, but regardless, it's going to look a lot better. So it's all put back together now, polished up, just about ready for the road. Still got to do the mechanicals, those kind of matter. But, it looks pretty enough for the road. Next time we get together on this thing, we're going to be rebuilding the carburetor. Changing the oil and the spark plug. And replacing the little knickknack things that have broken, like the turn signals. The mirror. Also, it needs a tire. At least one tire up here. I've got some... Uh, wherever it's at. I've got some cracking. I noticed that when I was cleaning things up. But, for what I paid for the thing, this was absolutely worth it. Appreciate y'all hanging in, watching me clean an old bike today. This has been a pretty rewarding experience. Everything shines a lot better than it did, and it uh, looks really good. I'm excited for it. Next time we get together on this one, then, like I said, we're going to do all the stuff that makes it run. Probably just going to let it sit till springtime, until somebody wants to buy it. And then we can move on to doing stuff to the galaxy. So next time we see each other, we'll be doing that. Or we'll be doing the uh, the transfluid fill and flush and filter change on the, the G20. But until next time, this is Clap Car Revival. Thanks for sticking around.